few Italians have had greater influence or attracted more notoriety. Silvio Berlusconi's political career had been widely written off, but now the billionaire media tycoon appears to be making a striking comeback. There are two winners and one loser. The two winners are the centre-right and the five-star movement. The centre-right has won the elections and has demonstrated that it is competitive also on a national scale. And the five-star movement has had a very good result. The major loser is uh, Matteo Renzi and the Partito Democratico. Despite being involved in a series of scandals and surviving open-heart surgery, his candidate's victory in the Sicily election has thrown Silvio Berlusconi right back into the centre-right driver's seat. The centre-right is competitive and that five-star movement is not disappearing anytime soon. This is something that the elections have told us and that is going to be relevant also nationally. Despite its sun-drenched shores, Sicily is one of the poorest regions in Europe. It's seen a decade of recession, high unemployment, corruption and organised crime. The island has also become a port of call for hundreds of thousands of migrants crossing the Mediterranean in recent years, making immigration a hot topic. Geographically, the Mediterranean shores seem very close, but politically are still too far away from each other. This distance has fueled a dangerous fault line in which fanaticism, violent extremism and terrorism have grown. More than 4.6 million people are able to cast their vote on the Mediterranean island, but voter dissatisfaction, where the rate of youth unemployment is nearly 60%, led to a poor turnout. The migrant issue influenced the ballot in Sicily. Whether it affects the rest of the country in next year's election remains to be seen. Amber Austin Wright, TRT World.